COVID, inflation, climate change, all of these things are upon us right now. What impact does all of that have on productivity? We're in a really interesting time uh, yeah. between between this this installation phase where we we put all these new technologies in place and the deployment phase where we need to sort of diffuse them and, and use them much more extensively across the economy. And the point is that that transition is usually not smooth. What, what what the literature says about this is basically that quite often that transition from installation to deployment or from from you know a few firms benefiting from this through the entire economy benefiting from it usually goes with some kind of frenzy period that that is followed by some kind of crisis. That's what you would usually uh, think to happen. Now, coming out of COVID, where we actually had a lot of digital transformation happening, can we sustain that? But also if the green innovation agenda or the transition to net zero that many countries, for example, in Europe, where I'm in now, right now, there's a lot of attention for this uh, green transition agenda. Well, that, that is a moment that's almost comparable with the space program or the defense program, where you say a lot of things now need to come together in terms of different types of energy use, new technologies, new ways of innovating, new ways of collaborating that could give us that productivity gain. So the question is, to what extent can we use these kind of tipping points in a crisis to uh, to grow productivity? And, and it doesn't look very good at the moment uh, when we look at the numbers. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that our policies are not quite the right ones to deal with this kind of transition, right? So we need to think about new regulatory environments for competition. We need to think about new tax rules. Uh, uh, we need to think about new ways of innovating uh, across the economy. And, and I don't think that our policies are quite ready for that, that, that new digital age. 